All right, let's continue. This is raw, uncut, just for you, John. Um, the price gets to three hundred. We'll give her some more stripes. What's the drive? I didn't see. Hmm, I like this one. Cool. Don't you leave me here? Don't you leave? <coughs> Excuse me. Already? I don't even. I don't even care. I'm just gonna send them. Chavers. Hey, it says the 31st. I should get my songs. Elementary. Two sister students began to fight each other in the middle of chem class. Their teacher, Dolores Ponder, first tried to calm them down. When she attempted to separate them, they poked. She was poked in the eye. I mean, you shouldn't die. It's two kids. I've been going to Sunday service for 36 years. I don't actually. Crazy man on a motorcycle drove straight through the doors of God's temple and began running around. Shouting blasphemy. He even raised his hand to Holy Father. <coughs> His investigations are getting harder as we go. Eleven, 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 eleven. Good job. One more place. Ms. Dunbar said a nurse tried to sell her drugs right in the hospital. I went to the doctor after I broke my arm. The nurse heard me complaining about the pain and waited until the doctor left. She then started telling me about pills she could give me, but better than Viking. Where did she say she would sell them to you? my best one on that, so, I don't know if that'll help. Mr. Boyd, I'm a wealthy man, I'm concerned about the fate of our fair city. I would like to fund three additional officer positions to your police department. My adopted son is to take one of the new jobs. He mustn't fire him. Sure. Oh god. Percy's gonna be my fucking greatest. Here we go. Percy spirit Percy run. Per se. Sell that shit. Flores. Per se is your fucking guy. Nine 
I don't even care what it is. Parking Melee just called in. A girl exiting an expensive car was approached by a man wearing a hood. He threatened her and took her bag. You got this, per se. Easy peasy. Hell yeah. You're gonna be. Nope. We're waiting until Percy gets back. Percy is going. An old prisoner, tired of eating a food served by the prison cafeteria, made his way in the kitchen carrying a shiv. Intent on having a word with the chef, guard called police as he was reluctant to enter the kitchen. Take Percy. Look at this. We got price. What? Price? Come on. We got price all the way up and she's got an alcohol problem? Per se. We'll be fucking golden. Today's the 30th? Oh. We got this. The kitchen floor is decorated with broken plates and an overturned pan filled with muddy slush. An elderly prisoner is sitting on the stool dipping his hand into the pot of slush and shoving it towards the cook's face. Got him. See, look at that. Forget Price and Austin. We have a new goal. I don't have enough frames, so it doesn't matter. Hey, look at that. No. What? I don't understand. Do I need to get fucking... Oh, I did it. Uh oh. You know who I'm sending. Where the fuck is the lead detective? Why is he at home? Why can't I send the fucking lead detective? <laughs> Excuse me. Is he... That's why. I can't call him into work. That's dumb. Eight to four. Winning. Citizens' earnings have fallen 9%. Former City Hall employee admits official unemployment data far from reality. Unemployment in Freeburg is lowest in history. Not my problem. Some term? No, you need to come in. Mitchell? I don't care. You haven't fucking worked one day. Guess we're listening to Beethoven again. I want all that. 
<clears throat> Elderly Emma Weston called in a complaint about her neighbors. Her house is shaking from loud sounds of gnashing metal and the roar of turbines, accompanied by some strange beeping noise. Through the window, she also saw people moving around. What? What does that even mean? Patient at the local asylum rebelled against the nurses during breakfast. The nurses have been wounded. Others remained locked in the patient in the dining area. This seems like a job for SWAT. There's all my officers gone. Wrong place. Mm, great. We've got a situation here. Reporters and onlookers have gathered around the building. And silent patients are watching the growing crowd from the windows. Going in the back door. Nice. There we go. A frightened woman phoned in reporting that two men dressed in armor were running through the streets, shouting, Beware our stings. They were chasing passerbys and swinging their blades at them. They've not done any harm, but their swords seem to be Nice. <coughs> Wait until they get back, I guess? An old friend is visiting Mr. Sand and they're planning on going horseback riding, but the owner of the country club just cl called. He was making he wasn't making much sense, but it sounds like some punks are beating Mr. Sand's horse to death. Damn. They don't care. Can I take rank away? Cause like you two down in the 180s don't deserve those ranks. Especially the two. Like, what? You're gonna get some more. Oh. 
go. Reports that suspicious people are constantly going in and out of the apartments next door, carrying big bags, making lots of noise, screaming. Those three sons can't concentrate on their homework. It's probably not. for different colors now. That's cool. Walk to the museum every hour. The alarm is off. I walk the museum every hour. The alarm is off. City Hall won't allow. I allocate the money to fix it. I didn't hear the glass breaking. It's a big museum. When I went down this way again, it was already early morning. The window was broken and the canvas was cut from the frame. There was no trace of anyone. Just a brick. That's not it. The parking lot was empty all night. In the morning, a cyclist went past with a tube on his shoulder. The guy slowly rolled into the parking lot, then left the bike for a couple of minutes and went out of sight. He Then he came back, got on the bike, and left. So he rolled up with that. Suffered from insomnia and often goes cycling around the city late at night. I took a tube and some other equipment so I wouldn't have to go back home before my morning classes at the art school. I stopped at the museum to pee, I admit. I like to mark the corners of the building. I imagine one day my work will be hanging inside. Okay. In his lecture of the work of the Dutch masters, Bram van der Hoff always sharply criticized the work of de Vroom. He dismissed the legendary artist as overpriced mediocrity and was very amused when an unknown de Vroom painting was discovered in the city dump. He said it was already in its proper place. He was less amused when he learned that the de Vroom painting would be hung in the museum. I wouldn't be surprised if it was Bram who broke into the museum and stole the painting. The glass is almost completely broken out. A grown man could easily climb through the window and not cut himself. Most of the shards are lying on the pavement outside. So, it wasn't him. I don't understand what I'm seeing. He saw a brick, so... Uh, we're gonna need some more clues. Blues clues. Those are the same frame, right? Yeah, basically. Is it that? Is it, is it that? Is it, is it that? Is it that? I don't know. We're gonna need some more clues. Blues clues. I take detectives off? Oh, I can. Armstrong and Beasley. And then these two. Tell me what you find. We need to split up and look for some clues. That's it. Uh oh. They're catching up. Where 
Former Mafia member bemoaned City Hall corruption. Chief physician at John Hospital accused of slander. Mayor declined service of spokesperson. I speak for myself and I'm going to get another drink. I will be right back. supposed to be my best uh, yes price you can have the day off yes Flores you can have the day off fuck that means Ooh. them all. What is, nope, not this one. This one's new. Pretty sure. Yeah, this is new. Don't have a lot of cops today. Actually, I have more than enough cops today. Take everything. Damn, great way to start. <laughs> Two homeless men made their way into a local bakery under the cover of darkness, where they ate their fill and bedded down for the night. In the morning, the owner, along with the cashier, went inside and discovered the damage. Homeless men armed with knives were unhappy to be disturbed and attacked. Shop and keep managed to escape. The cashier remains inside. That should be good. Think of that. I keep sending people. Huh. Whoa, rape. What the fuck? Fell to blows over a parking space and a lot near the diner. The cook tried to separate them, but they struck with a wild punch.
too many investigations. Percy, come on, why didn't you come to work? Jack, my entire staff at a donut shop came down with the flu. I haven't been able to find anyone else to help out. Could you please send a couple of your men? Sure they wouldn't mind frying up some donuts. The way you show them they need to know. Well, fucking hell. There goes all my cops. frames oh they're coming back I'm telling each leave standing over there at Friars' is house where I could rather dodge bullets than sp the spray from the boiling oil promise you she'll keep us in donuts through the rest of the year I didn't get any money for that Need backup. Yeah. You always need backup. Who the fuck are you? During a special viewing of the thriller Law Abiding Max 3, theater dis employee discovered one of the members of the audience had removed his pants. The man noticed the employee was watching him and responded with the threat that he would cut his throat and Jesus reopen the case all these after hours late nights August 1st. The movie theater isn't crowded and the film isn't full of steam. Throw a heavy object at him. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> uh, let's wait and get Austin back so she can go on it and get that 250. And upgrade. Apparently, I need more detectives because fucking. Man who wished to remain anonymous reported that a group of teenagers had once again made fun of his name by writing insulting rhymes on his six foot wide garage. Man is enraged and threatened that the next time he'll use a weapon to defend his honor. honor. I fucking don't have enough. Wait. There was no trace. The window was broken. The glass. It's a big museum. It's already early morning. The window was broken and the canvas was cut. There was no trace. I'm confused. This. Most of the shards are lying on the pavement outside. So wouldn't that assume that someone from inside the museum... How many frames do I have? 
One, two, three, four, five, six. I can get seven more. Hmm. Oops. Oh, fucking. One, two, three, four, five. Not enough. I don't fucking know. <coughs> You're off the case. You're on the case. I thought it was the end of the day. <sighs> Fuck. Who is this? What are you doing? I don't remember. I'm too drunk. Not that drunk, but I don't remember what you were doing. Hey, whatever you were doing, you did it. Oh yeah, the guy who was gonna shoot people. <laughs> 